Hi and Assalamualaikum to all. My name is Amin Sakina binti Abdul Jalil. So in this video, I will talk about cortical cataract. Firstly, this is the table of content. So in this video, I will talk about what is cataract, anatomy of crystalline lens, types of cataract, cortical cataract, signs and symptoms, risk factors, and treatment. So what is cataract? Generally, a cataract is a clouding of the lens or opacity within the lens, and a cataract leads to a decrease in vision. Three main types of cataracts are posterior subcapsular cataract, nuclear cataract, and cortical cataract. So, this is a comparison between a normal eye and an eye with cataract. We can see here that the lens with a cataract eye is clouded compared to the normal eye. The clouded lens causes a blurry vision. A cataract is formed at the crystalline lens. So I will talk a little bit about the anatomy of the crystalline lens. Crystalline lens is a transparent elliptic structure by convex which is located within the posterior chamber, uh, anterior to the vitreous chamber and posterior to the iris. The main function of the lens is to focus light on the retina. The lens can alter its refractive power by changing its shape, which is a process called accommodation. The lens is composed of four structures, uh, which are capsule, epithelium, cortex, and nucleus. So for my topic today, which is cortical cataract, it is formed on the outer edge of the lens which is called the cortex. Before I proceed with my topic, I will briefly tell you uh, the difference of three main types of cataract, which are the cortical cataract, the nuclear cataract, and the posterior capsular cataract. For patients who has cortical cataract, opaque cortical spokes can be seen in the eye. As for nuclear cataract, it is more to the cloudiness of the lens. And for posterior capsular cataract, it starts as a small opaque area that usually forms near the back of the lens that looks like uh, deposits. These types of cataract form in different places uh, on the lens. Nuclear cataract forms at the center of the lens, which is at the nucleus of the lens. Posterior subcapsular cataract form at the back of the lens, which is at the lens capsule, while cortical cataract form on the edge of the lens which is at the lens cortex. Now I will focus on cortical cataract. This type of cataract is named because it occurs on the outer edge of the lens which is the shell layer or commonly called the cortex. The cortical cataract begins as whitish, wedge-shaped opacity, which commonly called the cortical spokes. Uh, just like we can see in the diagram I provided here, the cortical spoke slowly progresses inward on the lens. The spokes extend gradually from the edge of the lens towards the center of the lens. And problems with glare are very common with this type of cataract. Uh, each type of cataract presents themselves with different signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms associated with cortical cataract include um, vision loss, blurry vision, glare, difficulty driving at night, and lastly, double vision involving one eye which is called monocular diplopia. As for the risk factor, the risk factor for cortical cataract are older age, commonly the elderly, um, hypertension, diabetes, uh, and cigarette smoking. The risk factor for cortical cataract are quite similar to nuclear cataract. So, what does cortical cataract treatment involve? Cataracts are usually treated either through the use of prescription glasses or through surgery. Prescription eyeglasses or bifocals are usually a first step to help improve a cataract sufferer's vision. When eyeglasses fail to make up the vision loss caused by a cortical cataract, cataract surgery is the best option to restore your sight. 
The procedure of cataract surgery involves removing the cloudy lens and replacing it with an artificial lens. So these are all the references that I use. That's all from me. Thank you.